Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Mishura. Today I'm going to tie the Evolution Stonefly from Hemingway. Here on my table you see this is the Evolution body and tails. And next to this we have the Evolution thorax and legs. and even has antenna on them. And we're going to on top of them, we're going to use the wing buds and back. There's the the wing buds and the for the thorax and the backs for the abdomen. And we're going to assemble this before we put it on our hook. Get these out of my way. We're going, we got the abdomen and tail here and you'll notice on these that there is a groove in there and that is for it to sit on top of the hook. The hook will go right inside there and the same thing on this one, that big groove in there. We're going to take these, I'm going to take an abdomen piece. And I'm going to take my hackle pliers and I'm going to grab a hold of the tab, the white tab. And I'm going to put it over. When I assemble this, I'm gonna that tab is going to go forward. So I'm gonna take my Loctite super glue gel. You can get very small amounts out of it with this uh, product here. And we're going to put some on there. And this is waterproof uh, glue also. And you can see I'm just putting a very small amount on there. We don't really want it to ooze out. A couple of hairs on there. I'm going to put that right on top and hold that there in place. You got a couple of seconds of working time with it. See it oozed out a little bit and stuck to my finger. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to put just a little bit on that tab. Take that and put just a little bit on the tab. Now let me get that down there we go and I'm gonna use that tab and I'm gonna stick the back side to the front stick that right in position there we go that little bit sticking to my finger and we got a nice alignment there with those parts. I'm going to take the wing bud and we'll take that and I'm going to put the heckle pliers on it once again and I'm going to put some more of the super glue gel on there This really is a small amount. Just kind of get a little bit out and kind of brush, brush it around there a little bit. It's already sticking to it. Now, you can't be too shaky when you put these on. And we'll stick that right into place. there we go just give that a few seconds to get tightened up there or secured there we go and here we have the wing bud and back connected and now we're going to move to the hook 
I'm going to leave that little white tab on there for the moment. And the hook that I'm going to use is a Maruto. This is a size 6. It is a I77LS. It is a streamer nymph hook turned on I. Heavy wire and perfect bend. Perfect round bend. I have a 3.5 millimeter black tungsten bead on there. But before I start doing anything, I'm going to add some more weight to it. Stoneflies should be fished on the very bottom, so I'm going to use 20 thousandths lead free wire. And I'm going to put about 20 wraps on this. I'm going to start right about where it hits the point of the hook. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, go a couple more. Yeah, twenty-five wraps is gonna go like a rock to the bottom. I'm gonna push that up into the bead, and I could go ahead and break off that back section. I misplaced my nail clippers, so I had to twist it off. Now the way this works. This is going to sit right on top of there, but we can't have the bottom looking like that. So we're going to put our dub our body on there. For that, we're just going to use some black thread. This is 8 op, And we'll go ahead and secure our lead wraps, putting several wraps on there. And bring the thread back to where it would hang at the barb of the hook. Now, since this is a gray body, I'm going to use a I'm going to use Adam's gray Antron dubbing for the underbelly. And we're just going to dub it on. It's going to take quite a bit of dubbing. You don't want it real fat because you want to be able to get that uh, channel inside the evolution body to go onto it. Just going to do a little bit at a time here. Take another section. Make our thorax maybe a little, a little heavier maybe. We'll see what it comes out to. Oop. And we need some more. Try to get that tight. Now these, uh, these Hemingway Evolution, you can only get them from bearskinoutfitters.net. Frosty Fly doesn't carry these Evolution ones, but you can get the wing bud and back from them. They make fantastic uh, stone fly nymphs also. And we're going to stop right there. Now, I'm going to take the body and we're going to, we're just going to glue that right into place. So I'm going to take the super glue gel and I'm going to fill the channel. This I'm putting a little bit heavier because the dubbing is going to suck it up. 
which we, which that is what we want because all we're going to do is glue it to it we want it back just a little bit from the bead I had my finger glued on and I'm gonna just hold that a little bit on the back there just oozing out just press it firmly into place now because I have that tab on there I'm gonna go ahead and secure this in the front Gonna lift that tab up and I'm gonna trim it off and get those antennae out of the way. There we go. Now I can go ahead and tie that off. Take the whip finish. This is a really simple doing this. Really pretty simple. I haven't fished them without putting a rib on it myself. I put the rib on them. I usually put a rib on it and rib it all the way up through the whole body just to ensure. But Tom at Bearskin Outfitters said that that's not necessary, so we're going to take his word for it. Now, we're, we're basically done, but now we're going to put some little markings on the legs and antenna. I'm just going to take my black Sharpie, and I just have a piece of cardboard here. And just put a couple of marks on the legs. Put a couple of them on the tail. And get that other side legs. Maybe hit the antenna a little bit. Put a couple little marks on there. And that one leaned a little bit more. Now you can go ahead and take a little bit of a dubbing brush if you want and just kind of Scruff up that, that dubbing on the bottom there a little bit. And that'll help to hide any sharp corners that are on there. And when it gets wet, it's going to lay right down too. So here we have a Hemingway Evolution Stonefly. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors and let them know that I sent you. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. If you'd like to purchase this or any other flies that I make, please go to etsy.com slash shop slash the flyman gym. And if you don't see it on there, if you could think it, I could make it. So, and most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.